What's going on everyone? Slowash here, bringing you some more Marvel Heroes 2015 gameplay. Today I am taking on the task of leveling up Gambit. Um, I already have him, let's see, to level 23. Uh, really random number, but uh, basically just got all my leveling stuff on him right now. Got my pot of gold on him. Got my pet on him. And uh, so far all I've done is some uh, hollow sim and some uh, industry patrol to get him to 23. Um, and then I did one legendary quest. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up and just run some legendary quests. We'll see if we can't get him to 30 pretty quickly. Uh, another thing I might do real fast is see if I have any potions to pop on them just to get some extra boost. Don't know if I do or not. Here's a quick solution to that. Gotta go find Clea. Get a potion from that bitch. Some of my Q you shards. Know, maybe I need an exit too. Greetings, Go up here to Clea. Refresh. Get, uh, ooh. Uh, two of these guys. Let's pop them, see what we get. Rarity rush and a special item find rush. Awesome. Let's try it one more time. Actually, kind of like that one. I'm gonna buy it. I always keep an eye out for the relics from her because 712 health and you heal teammates, that's pretty decent. Plus, I had refresh anyway, so I might as well. Uh oh! That didn't work out at all what I wanted. Get a visual effect as well. Would you like to see something I just invented? Yeah. Let's put that on the costume real quick. Add visual effect to costume. Embers. Hold on. Let's do that. Add the embers for 94 bucks. Hells yeah. Oh my god, he's so cool looking. Yes. Does absolutely nothing for me, but now it looks cool. Okay, so terminal going to Mr. Sinister. Let's do it. Sinister Lab going. And just for shits, I'm gonna pop two of those potions. Maybe the bars. Feeling the bars. Throw this out there right now. See if we're getting it. My goody treasure chest. Uh oh. That's what you gotta love coming from that thing. Not sure when I got this. Probably a long time ago on our Vasgard. Basically, every 20 hours you get to throw it open. It's like an extra little chest. Get these things out of here. So, my build for Gambit is all ranged. I haven't even attempted to try the bow combat but basically I'm just using any range skill that comes available. Uh, this one I just kept at level 1 because I just wanted it for the vulnerability. This move, Ace of Spades, is pretty sweet. Um, Dead Man's Hand is pretty good for like single targets and uh, Wild Card is just the basic. This gives you tons of mana control back or spirit control back so I've maxed that and I'm just maxing Slide of Hand. As soon as this comes available I'll get it and then I haven't even really looked at the list. But Make everything vulnerable and just start going to town on them. Sometimes you can use it as a clear. Sometimes 
sometimes just throwing a couple of these explosive ace cards is all you really need though. Ooh, la, la. Come on, man. Dead man's hand. Oh, my me. Just blowing stuff up. Uh oh. Careful leaving something like this around. Got a portal. I have never been to the bovine sector. Oh, there's two. Uh, looks like I got all my kills in. I'm just gonna rush the boss and never find him. Looks like I gotta walk it for a little bit. Screw it up. Oh, mama. Birthday cake slices are no joke right now. They are dropping like hotcakes. Vulnerable, hit him with this, and then dead man's hand. I don't know why I am so damn slow. Behold my creations. This is where I spin my clear word. Got him. Là, c'est les bons temps rouler. Gloves, that forge bow. Mm. Take it all. Done. Gotta go scrutinize the sentinels in Midtown. No problem. Heroic mode. All right, just hit 25. Time to get him. Oh yes, why not? Uh, we'll do actually just a real easy one. Sears brilliance. I do River the Soul. His his mana problems are still pretty bad. I just ran out of mana there like a few times. I don't really like that. I don't like running out of mana. Soul going on. Let's see what we got for him as a rune. Melee powers, no sir. Ranged, why not? Okay. Just for shits, let's see what Clea's got as another artifact. Maybe it'll be something good. Oh. I do not believe this meeting is a coincidence. <laughs> oh, figures. Oh, those are pretty cool. I didn't even know those were down there. Um, oh, fuck it, we'll buy two more. That's why you gotta run those dailies. Build up a stockpile of these things. There it is. Experience boost. Alt gloves, don't need them. Someone else can take that if they'd like. Alright, so you have to be 45 People said I was to the go. Most kind of, until Deadpool show up. 
be 45 to go to the bovine sector. Uh, let's just make sure where am I going here for this. Okay, so I am going to Midtown. I just popped that experience orb too, so this should be interesting. Let's see if I got any new skills. That's a one point wonder right there. Get that. Some more wild cards, some more ace of spades, some more dead man's hand, and more sleight of hand. I'm gonna strut my stuff with this. Alright, so now I can die without actually dying. So, typically, whatever you're doing, the sentinel quest, what you want to do is look for a uh, a person standing on the street corners or along the street that has a green health bar above their head and then just kind of hang out there for a minute alright so that's one or if you can snipe him from someone else I'd do that too but um, I usually just go up and down the streets until I find someone. Some civilian with a green thing above their head. It's kind of boring, but it's usually the best way of finding the sentinels. Unless you get a sentinel wave, and that's just ridiculous. Because your legendary quest will be done in no time. Bypassing all the bullshit. No bosses, no nothing. Usually there's a guy up here somewhere. Oh, come on, man. Killing me, killing me. I must suffer for my cause. Wanted to do something different for a second. There's one. See? All variables have been accounted for. Just looking for those. Two civilians with the green thing above their head, the health bar. And then you got it. Yeah, there's a lot of guys right here. Get that cake piece of bounce. It's taking too long. Now, if you just so happen to be next to the boss wave, then you might as well at least stand by it for a second, get a hit in on everyone. And See if you can't get like some loot from it. Anything worth a damn out of that? Nobody looking for this. Looks like Groot's my team up. Let's get his ass out here. 
I am Groot. All right. I don't think anything good came of that. Some experience, though, I suppose. Let's see where I need to look again. Sometimes this quest can be really fast, sometimes it sucks ass. Luckily I got a lot of spirit now because of River of the Soul, I can, I can move quickly. Refresh my spirit real quick with this guy. Let's take a look up here. Take him around. Oh, damn. There's like a shitload of Ultron bots today. I don't know what's going on. Gonna push the movie yeah, again, apparently. A lot of Ultron bots. I love Dead Man's hand. Holy shit. Just wanna find some fucking sentinels. See if you hear that, that like jetpack sound, that's a sentinel too. Eyes and ears. Gotta use both. There's a guy. For the glory of New Wakanda. Trust the intruder. Oh yeah, three out of four. Been a little bit slower than I would have wished. There's a fourth. See, sometimes you can get all of them packed up like that. Figures, right? As I'm at the last one, they're gonna pop. So I was saying, sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it doesn't. Fortunately, I got the doesn't. Uh, get some experience, healing. Hit and run, hit and run. Let's experience orbs, run through. Oh, take out. Orb. Fate of darkness, quench the light. Alright. Let's get up here to these guys. Get some hits on them. Get these orbs on that. Hit by that. Colors on my screen. You really thought you could take out an 
Roger. Keep hearing awesome shit dropping, but I don't know where it is. Put the cake down here. Coming in hot. Got one of those in there for good luck. About to hit 30. Just a couple more ace in the holes. Alright, let me wrap these last couple guys up here. And then we'll go to the next legendary quest. Alright, some peace and quiet here. Let's see what I unlocked. Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, legendary quest. I never do story mode, so I always reroll. Until I hit a terminal or midtown madness. Let's see villains kill six super villains. Okay. That's fine. Um, powers, what did I unlock? 52 cards like that. Throw an entire deck of cards like kinetic charge machine gun, blowing them up in unison afterwards. Well, I'm a creature of habit, and usually signatures are the bomb, so. Oh, look at that. They made the cooldown 52 seconds. How cute. I'm gonna try this out. Okay, pass it up. Set that up. Get his hand up. Got that up. Okay. Let's see what this thing does. Oh my God, I'm out of this way. Oh, load it. Explosion energy damage 14 to 2200 per card stuck into an enemy. Energy damage per hit 52 hits. Okay, so it does quite a bit of single target damage. I wish some of his card moves would pierce, but they don't. Alright, we gotta kill some bosses. I think this would be the last, last legendary quest I run here. Alright, let's get him vulnerable. I'll hit him with two, two card pickup. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. As soon as I called that shit in, he had like 50 summons going around him. I was this close to being impressed. Alright, so I smoked his ass. 52 card pickup. Usually when you get the boss killing quest, you're hoping for a big boss group that you can just get in on everyone else with. You know what invulnerable just get a couple means? touches here and there and then... When these guys die, you just get credit. Pretty quick work of that uh, legendary quest. Just uh, be mindful of anyone in the group that has one shot kill potential, like Juggernaut. I always keep my eye on him. This would be 
charges, that person's gonna die for sure. See, he's coming right at me. Just gotta keep your eye on it. Charging. Someone's gonna die. I feel like my guy didn't do much damage at all. Maybe it's because I need better weapon there. Didn't feel all that spectacular. Let's get that last level. I'm gonna call it quits, guys. We get that last boss. Wherever they are. See him. It's getting a little laggy, but we're gonna make do. Got him. Do you feel better knowing you got beat by me? All right, hit a ripe level of 32. Let's go back over here, stories, training room, so we can investigate what we just learned. Alright, let's see, no, no one the Sinister Venge, uh, it's still a hell of a lot better than what I'm using, so why not, uh, that won't do us any good, that is good, that's good, no, 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 okay. Let's take a look at what skill you just learned. You just learned this one. Your time among thieves and your uncanny charm helps you and your team to find better items and more credits. Does that scale upwards? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's a one point wonder. Pick that up, that up. Definitely he's ace in the hole. Wild card. Ten minutes not much. We'll do. Uh, Y'all watch out now. Slide of hand. Okay, so that's that's my build so far. Got to figure out why the hell he does no damage. 
It's probably because his weapon sucks my balls. Yes, it does. Let's see if I can't just buy some generic bullshitter. Uh, yeah. That is very nice. I just might have something for you. Gear might try and upgrade. Gotta upgrade a 37. Oh wait. Yeah, there's a way to... No, I don't want to do any of that shit. Well, that's unfortunate, but let's see if he does a good amount more damage, because he was doing like... That just gave him about 3k more damage per card, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, that is uh, just a couple levels with uh, Remy LeBeau, aka Gambit. I will probably continue leveling a little bit here. I'll bring you guys uh, a video later on with him a little higher level, maybe even 60, so you can see what my final build will be. But just as leveling, I was using mainly ranged, haven't dabbled much in any of the other ones, and uh, here's my final loadout so far that of what I've liked. This card's pretty good. It seems to be the best, like, mob killer that he's got. It's cheap and does a pretty good amount of damage. Use this to put vulnerability on, like, everything on the screen. This is good against uh, single targets. And then uh, wild card's actually really strong, so if you vulnerable everything, hit him with this, and then just start wild carding, it does you know 50% more damage because you just spent spirit. This gives you extra spirit back and damage and a whole bunch of other shit. And I'm interesting to see if this actually makes you find anything. It's pretty cool. You get a credit farming thing on him, and I think his I want to say his passive is also for more credits, right? Yeah, 5% credit. And then rare item find, so maybe he could be a farmer for you, I don't know. Interested to see. I gotta put in my megas. Let's just do this real quick. Go with the uh, generic loadout, just because uh, I don't have a whole lot of interest in things he's energy damage so we gotta go let's see uh, I don't think any of these are energy normally when I'm building on my I only see uh, the ones for physical damage. He has range though too, so something like this might actually be able to help him a lot. Uh, I need to get to that. Okay. And someone in here is energy. There it is, Sunfire. So, Sunfire. Do plus one to fighting. That's always a good idea. And now 11 more points to spend. Health regen. And some more health regen. Yep. Why not? All right. Let's see if that made any impact on anything. What are these? Oh, these are boss targets. 
These ones are lower than me, though. Level 6 points. <laughs> Do so little damage to them. Alright, guys. That is. I believe that was level 23 through 32 as Gambit. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Join me next time. Peace.